We have decided that our downstairs playroom has, well, quite honestly, become an absolute mess. It's a tip. Because there's no organisation, there's no, there's just nothing, it's just everything sort of just gets dumped in the middle of the room. We've noticed the kids have sort of stopped going in there and not playing in there as much. So we decided to take a trip to Lakeside and we went to a few homeware stores but also mostly Ikea. Where's the best place to get stuff for organisation for playrooms? Ikea. Decided to go and get some storage units and some baskets and bits and bobs. So I'm going to show you the room as it stands now. Do not judge us. This is five children causing absolute mayhem. So basically, I've just been leaving it and it's been a week and a half now and I went to sort of judge and see what would happen to it. And this is the outcome. And I actually can't believe that I've managed to leave it like this for so long. But it just got to a point where they have so much stuff, five of them, all different things, there's nowhere to put anything. So what we've decided to do is give this room a little bit of a makeover. It's just not enough space. As you can see, they just pull things out. This has become a bit of a dumping ground with all their colouring books, which are meant to be in there. Um, these baskets, they used to have blankets in and then they got pulled out, but I'm thinking maybe the puzzles can go in there. But as you can see, it's just become an absolute tip. Hmm. So something needed to change. So we decided that we needed to go and get some proper units for them. We don't usually have it this bad. If you follow us on Instagram, you will see that actually I am a bit of a clean and neat freak. I like everything to have a place in the house. And the wildness, as you can see, has now become an absolute tip. Basically, we've gone to Ikea today. I'm gonna to show you now the things we've bought for, um, for this room, um, just to make it a little bit more organized and tidy. I'm going to keep with the theme and the decoration, which is like a boho kind of bohemian theme. I'm going to bring a bit of like bamboo um, and sort of like natural colours in. So yeah, watch the space. Hope you enjoy the glow up of this room and I hope it doesn't take me too long. But I'm going to get on with it, see how I get on. But my first job is obviously I've got to build the units. So that's probably going to take me a couple of days. <laughs> Um, so wish me luck. But I'm going to show you what we're from Ikea now and then that way I'm hoping, oh god, we can get rid of all of this mess. Hello Reggie. <laughs> it's my Ikea receipt. So guys, I thought I'd show you what we bought from Ikea. So first up to share with you, we bought, you, we bought two of the storage units. They're called Calax. So they are really good. So they're actually £45 each and we got them both in white. So they create eight boxes, so to speak. So these are the baskets that we've bought. And these were £8 each. Um, so we've got eight of them and I think they'll look really nice. The plan is to have them along the bottom of the both of the units. Are the Drona and they are also um, like boxes and they were three pound each. So originally actually I wanted to get the white ones but they had white was out of stock which is a bit annoying. Um, this is a matte, really liked it, like a, a tweedy kind of real bristly kind of matte that I'm gonna put at the back door in the playroom because we have got a door that goes straight out to the garden so I think it will match the color theme. Door mat was three pound fifty. Then we bought this big mat to go at our back door. As you can see we've got a little welcome sign that used to be at our front door. So this is a really nice big one, and this one was £12, and it will definitely have a name on it. There we go. This lovely bath caddy, which I thought was really nice actually. Now I've got to try and see if I can find it on here. Oh, here we go, bath rack, £9. This is a table, which I really loved, and we got it in the colour black, and it's called Gladom. Um, and it's like a tray table, I saw it one of my friends had it. So the top part of the table lifts off like a round tray, you can go get all the drinks and bring them back outside or inside or wherever you want and place it back down onto the table. And that was £19. I really like that. So I think we might use that for outdoors actually. This lovely big basket. Absolutely fell in love with this when I saw this online. Um, and that was £25. I'm going to use that in the playroom to maybe like row up their blankets because often they'll go and sit and watch a film and all want their blankets. So maybe that can be their blanket basket. We've got these. So for the vase and the fake artificial plant, it's £6 for the whole entire lot, so I've got two of them. 
So I just thought they were really nice. Always nice to add a bit of colour. I think it goes really well with the bamboo sort of natural look. Every time I go Ikea, I always buy these serviettes. I don't know why, I just love them. They're really thick. There's loads of them, they're nice and big, and they're only £2 for 100 which I always find is such a bargain. And if you don't go to Ikea and buy dime bars, then I don't know who you are, because these are the best things ever, and I absolutely love them. £4.95 for that pack, which I know is quite a lot, actually. Um, they are worth every single penny. Top pick, and we're going to use this as like a little lantern. The top bit lantern was eight pounds, so I don't think that's two pounds bad. It's like a metal, that's a really nice look. And then we've got these candles. So this one is just a single one, it's obviously battery operated. So we thought that can actually sit inside there and sit on the bar outside. But for the candle, uh, three pounds for that candle, which I didn't think was too bad. But then we also bought the set of three, which I really liked because I just thought that would be nice on a table. Um, when you're outside having dinner in the evening or something like that and that set was nine pound a new sink caddy because we have got one up there but it's dark gray and it just doesn't look that great so i know this is plastic so i'm probably going to end up hating this i think flundra and that costs a dish drainer two pound bargain Right, on to the last bits. I absolutely fell in love with these jars as soon as I saw them and I was like, I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I absolutely love them. And I now decide I think I'm actually going to put them up here on our island, all three of them bundled together exactly like this. Right, so the small jar here was £1.50 and that was £2.50 for the nice tall one and the small round one was also £2.50. So I think that's a bit of a bargain really. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill them maybe potentially with like biscuits like maybe like bourbons or custard creams and then we saw these which actually I thought were super cute and in fact actually we could probably put these in one of them because they look really nice with the little heart kind of like Jaffa cakes but they are biscuits and they cost one pound each for a pack so they're ones with this jam ones in and then there's ones with strawberry in as well um, that's strawberry jam and these ones are with chocolate as well which I thought was nice and then top of that, we've got these almond thins. Alex picked them up, not had them before, but worth giving them a try. £1.25, bargain. So yeah, so that is our IKEA haul. That is everything we bought today. £337 in total. Not too bad really, but yeah, really, really good. Now we've just got to make it all and put it all in place. So that is the first one built. It's Saturday and today was the building day. It's Saturday afternoon, I haven't got very far. It's been a bit of a busy day. But we managed to do one and I'm just about to start the second one now. And then the plan is to hopefully put them into the playroom already. And then tomorrow we are gonna have a mass um, sort out of the playroom basically. So yeah, a couple of days, takes a long weekend doesn't it, but yeah. Pretty proud of that one so I'm happy. Here we go for number two. Well there we go. I was actually super impressed. The first one seemed to take a bit longer. I was sort of reading all the instructions and because I knew what to do it's quite simple. The second one, what are you moving it for? It was quite easy. So we cut these cut. off. One. Cut them off. Cut. And one. And then we take all the sides off. And then it slots in place. Lots of little hands to help, that's it. Push it down, so then he moves a little silver bit of each side. Good job! And then Hello. that is another basket. What are you going to show me? Are you, are you such good girls? Look, I can see the carpet. Behind me? What is it? Is this a pantomime? Wait a minute, all I can see is lovely clean floor. <gasps> Oh! <laughs> with these toys, what are we going to do with them? We're going to sort them out, decide what we're going to keep, and then what we don't want, we're going to give to some other children, and then we're going to charity shop some. Do boots out with daddy, then pay with money with us three. Who wants to put their money in the bank and save it? 
I mean, that's a really nice idea. Right, so here they, is the uh, units with the baskets in. But I don't really like it like this, to be honest. I think it looks a bit too busy. I think I actually prefer it with just either the row of baskets all on the bottom and then the grail on the top. It's just an absolute mess. As you see, I can't believe they par. This is Alex. He says, put everything on the sofa for us to sort out so it's off the floor. Oh my God. Here he is. They give it a good hoover. That's it. Give it a good clean good down there. And we will let you know how we get on. Good Hoover, and he's got his little helper. Lottie, are you helping? Good job. So as you can see, we have cleared out a little bit of the room and it's starting to look really nice and big now again. Be more spacious. And we've actually decided to push the sofa right into the corner where before we had this down the side, but it just created a bit of a dumping pile. And the ice cream man coincidentally turned up. So as you can see, we are in the thick of it. We're just sorting everything into their homes basically and just trying to figure out what's what. But we're getting there. We've got a Lego box, we've got little bit parts, controls and bits and bobs, phones, and we're, uh, toys. We're almost there. Just to make sure we've got all the puzzles in the right box, we're going to put them in little sandwich bags and um, keep them all nice and sealed so that way all the puzzle pieces stay together. We're doing really good, we've got Jimmy stuff, we've got books, um, Lego, we've got cuddly toys, plasticky toys, we've got Barbie dolls and Frozen dolls and LOL dolls. It's things like this, like little figures that they absolutely love. A bit carnage but it's nice i think we all do it together then everyone knows where everything is it'll be a bit better how you getting on look you getting on all right yeah you done it all yeah. good girl hi i just put that away jimmy i just put that away <coughs> need a little rug little mat for the back door oh great thank you can you get that for me now i'm just at a stage now where i'm like rearranging the room which I know it's so silly, like, it just doesn't feel right still, it feels a little bit uneven. It's a really odd shape of room, it's almost like a weird triangle shape. Yeah, so it's just trying to figure out, this is like a really odd shape here, and then it goes to a point, and then a point down to here. Thinking, actually, these little white drawers, I might put on the end there, so then it's the same as this. So both sides have got it, and then this section can go down here. So I'm just going to rearrange, have a little mess around and see how I get on. I'm going to close the door and we're going to have dinner. Da, da, da. New back door mat. Little basket for the blankets. And then this is the new playroom organisation. So excited. Got a nice sofa, all cosy here. This is what we all had before, all the fluffy cushions and that to make it all cozy and then just wanted it to be quite open in this section for when people come in little chairs for the girls extras these have all got their puzzles and games in just because it's easier for them to grab um, and it's things like this we used to have like their buggies up and open constantly but I don't use them as often anymore so I thought just collapse them down and put them in that nice basket so I'm so happy with it I feel like we've really made yeah, a better room when we first did it we kind of just put everything in and hoped for the best but i guess until when you actually use a room sometimes you don't realize what what is needed i guess so yeah it's looking very nice very happy with it now it's a nice usable playroom um, but also a place for them to come and watch films and relax on the sofa i'm really pleased with it i think i've done a really good job i'm really happy so now um I'm gonna tackle, believe it or not, this has given me a boost because now it's made me wanna tackle the playroom that we have at the top of the stairs. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching our vlog on our downstairs playroom glow up, shall we, shall we say. Um, I enjoyed doing it. As I said, it's made me wanna now go and sort out the top room, which I think I'm good at because there's nothing better than having a really good sort out, is there? Anyway, all the storage boxes we bought from Ikea. Um, majority of the other stuff we got from Ikea. Baskets we've just collected over the years. I think I already did a little um, 
one before of this but i will put this on our homepage as well so any questions of where we've got anything i will let you know on that um check out our home instagram page which is called the girl Bally's doll's house um i hope you enjoy and thanks for watching as always bye